Hey, this is Rick and welcome back to my channel. From time to time I put out a bunch of videos on whatever. Uh, my channel doesn't really cover anything in specific. It could be pets, it could be plants, it could be DIY projects, it could be anything. So you never know what I'm going to come out with next. Hey, that subscribe button's down there in the corner. Click that. It's going to be running throughout the video. That'll subscribe you to my channel. Hit that bell on the YouTube page and that'll give you anything new that I just put out. So let's get to it. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. From time to time I do uh, reviews on products and uh, different products and sometimes I actually revisit those products to give you an update. It's been a while since this one's been installed. This is actually the Liberty Pumps Sumpjet SJ110. Now this has been running for quite a while. I'm trying to remember, it's probably been at least five years. And people keep asking me, you know, hey, how's that working out? And uh, what about, you know, when you have some severe storms? Well, here in the Northeast, uh, we're actually in Delaware. And we've had back-to-back -back storms. And this is a that it's actually installed in and you can see it's coming in there pretty fast I just wanted to give an update to everybody and uh, maybe give you some uh, tips and some things to look out on and uh, periodically maybe go down and make sure that you actually trigger it and make sure that it's running okay because you don't want to get caught you know with your pants down so to speak uh, you have a big storm and that thing is uh, not working properly you're gonna be in trouble but people want to know whether we keep up or not now you can see this is going off like every god I don't know two minutes right now that's a lot now I have a pedestal pump that's installed next to it if you looked at the other videos. Like I said, this is a revisited video, so we're going to go ahead and do an update. I have this pedestal pump installed as my main primary pump. And of course the sump jet, which is this pump right here, is your backup system, in case you didn't see it. Take a look at those other videos up there at the top. I'll put a link, and you can see how it was installed and all that. I'm not going to show you the install or anything. I just want to show you how it's performing. And like I said, it's got to be over five years that this has been installed. And this is just an update on that video. Now, I'm going to be quiet, if I can, <laughs> and listen to the water coming in there. That's like having your bathtub on, full strength. Now this is like spring water. You could actually drink this. It's seeping into the ground and coming in through the uh, French drain. So periodically come down and check your, your pumps and make sure that they're not, uh, you know, overloading themselves. Make sure that you're turning your switches back off and on. I'm going to drain this all the way down to the bottom here and you'll hear it gurgle. Now the function of a pedestal pump is for quicker discharges. Instead of having like a small pump, if you had a small pump in there, it would just keep going off and on and you'll burn it right up in no time. So a pedestal pump has more travel for that float to go all the way up and trigger. Now I have the float set up a little bit higher since we have so much rain coming in. Uh, sometimes you can let it equalize, but uh, this isn't slowing down anytime soon. Now I wanted to point this out. See that right there? That's actually a double check valve. It's made by Watts. I put that in so that there's no backup on my domestic water. People have mentioned in the past I didn't have anything in line. I do have it on in line. I actually put it in right after the first video as per code, so it's good to go. It just helps out all my haters that said I didn't do anything. Now that's starting to fill up rapidly. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to unplug my main pump, the pedestal pump. Now that's disconnected. Like I said, this is the Sumpjet Model SJ110. It's made by Liberty Pumps. I highly recommend them. I'm not like a uh, spokes model for Liberty or anything. I can just say that they've been a good company. It's been reliable. It's an American-made company. But all the haters out there have been saying, those things can't keep up. A battery system goes better. Well, if you look at my other video, you're going to see that those battery systems will eventually lose their charge and they'll burn up on you. And those batteries are very expensive. Now, this is domestic water powering this thing coming from your house. But usually, for you to lose the domestic water, you're in trouble. So we're filling back up. You're actually going to hear this switch click here. But since we've got the electric off on the pump, it won't engage. I will edit this video down to save on time. And you heard that just engage the switch. Now we're starting to come in rapidly. Here the water getting quieter just because it's getting close to the surface and then eventually the trickle will take over the level in the crop. Okay we're not flooding so we're actually equalizing. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this bulb float and you hear it engage. Now it's only gonna go down remember this is a backup system it's gonna go down so far where it can't suck uh, any more water out. So that's it. Then the 
float goes down, it disengages itself, and you're good to go. So that's just a quick update. Um, I just wanted to put that out there because people said that these things can't keep up. I just showed you a can. You saw the amount of water that was coming in there. No problem. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Uh, please click that subscribe button. It's down there in the bottom of the video. Please share with your family and your friends. Give me a thumbs up, a like. That lets YouTube know that you like my videos and uh, we can rise up to the top for the clicks. I appreciate all the feedback. And good luck with your project and stay healthy. Take care.